Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Settlement Survival. I am the White Seer and we are continuing with our playthrough with our town assistant. Um, again, normal difficulty on a large map. And we are in a relatively decent position. I know there's a few warning notices here for homes and things like that. Um, we have a fairly decent yield going on with our tree farm here which is uh, helping us out. We actually haven't run out of fuel yet, um, which is good. Um, however, we are now struggling a little bit with um, food. So that's something we need to pay attention to. And I think we had another field. Let's look in here. Oh yes, we got peas actually, which we could potentially get going. Um, but what I'm trying to do is get us um, the buffalo these little guys down here. So I have a hunting cabin over here, trying to snag those so that we can get some leather and and keep our clothing uh, going. I'm gonna hit the 10x speed at the moment and uh, get going. Oh yeah, by the way, we've also managed to think there's a little bit of dirt road here, but for everything else, I believe it's um, stone roads everywhere so people are moving around a bit quicker which kind of does help as well hopefully we can get these built um don't know what our builders are doing there's a there's a weird road there let's get rid of that hopefully they'll be uh, moving some uh, timber over here and uh, getting these uh, these done and actually also in this gap here we can cut those trees down Actually, let's gather these things over here as well. And uh, just grab those extra resources there. So, we are month three. So, we're going to have yeah, roughly about the same sort of um, turkey production as the year before. And we have a spare person. Right, let's have a think. Let's put them, where do I want them? We've got one person in there. How's the iron ore going? The iron ore is fine. Um, tree farm's full. We could actually stick them in there on food for now, just to try and build up some. Oh, and I have another person as well. That's, um, that's useful. Do I actually have anything that I can make clothes out of? Okay, at the moment the answer is no. So we could actually get a food f field thing. Um, actually, water's dropped by about 500. So I'm going to stick an extra person on water for now. I do not want them running out of water. Oh, and I've got an extra person as well. Um, things are speeding up a touch. Let's get somebody over here getting iron. Can we please grab us some buffalo? They're like, they're right here. Where are my hunters? Might actually put another pasture field right here. Yeah, we've run out of fuel and clothing now. Okay, tools. We have 77 iron tools. I am going to go in here and upgrade this pasture. Fuel reserves are low. Yes, indeed. Right. Um, so, we're currently not building anything. So, I'm going to take somebody off of there and add them to fuel. Isaac has graduated from school. What's he doing then? He's not showing up as a temporary worker. New technology point acquired. Right, okay, let's go in here. So we were going to go to the bathhouse, but everyone's fairly happy and averagely healthy. Um, we could go to... Forget people's shoes. 
Um, we could do that, or we could go towards animal slaughter, which would give us better stuff. When we cull buffalo, for example, we'd get more leather. Um, turn corn to fodder. I'd have to go through two things to get there. Um, what's that? Leather shoes. We'd need that. That's for reeds. We would need reeds for that. Uh, you suppose there's cotton or flights into cotton cloth or linen. Ah, okay. This is what we had with the... Um, this is what we had before. We had the faster weaving. Um, so, we could do that, but we do need flax. So, I think for now we want to go towards this. So, I'm going to activate this. And then we need two more points here to go for animal slaughter. Um, fodder factory. So, we could actually start farming peas, because I think we can turn that into fodder. Um, and at the same time... I think we're going to get another pasture and we might put that in here because it's already cleared and it's relatively close to the town so we've got a road there so this would be the first potential space we could actually make a 20 by 20 pasture let's pop that in there and then i want to put a stone road all the way around Just to there. Okay. Let's keep the game moving here. Hopefully we can get some sort of leather or down or something producing animal wool, maybe. I think we do have alpacas, don't we? We do have alpacas. Maybe we could go for alpacas um, for now. And that would give us uh, the wool to make the clothes. 400 wood. Jesus. Okay. Well, we do have wood coming in. Let's choose beans here. And just get somebody on beans. We have one person without a home as well. Right, let's go in and put some more homes in. Okay, stuff is definitely happening. We have no no governors here yet. We have a boat coming in, but obviously we have no ferry yet. Actually, that, that might be something we should build as well. Let's have a look. Ferry. Um, uh, let me think. This is the wrong way around, that's why. Could build that right here. Now we go go for this inlet here. Actually, that looks a bit nicer. Can I take it one square back? I can't. That would match our road perfectly. Um. Okay, let's just pop it there then. We're going to build the ferry. And we are. Is that still dirt right there? That kind of is. Let's take this here. And then we will take this one to here. Okay. Plenty of wood required. Yes, fuel and clothing again, the banes of our life. And also at the moment, food. We are. Oh, this is perfect. Um, uh, focuses on comfortable home environment. Maximum of occupants in a house is plus one. Scholars who have a lot of research on agriculture development programs to focus on education have greatly helped agriculture in towns and cities. Agricultural proficiency a plus one. Uh, yeah, Kathy. 
welcome to your new position. We we want that. Look at these alpacas over here. Get in. Get come over here. Get into our uh, our little pasture here. Okay, that's all looking pretty good. I'm expecting that to dwindle a little. I mean, we're making so much turkey here. Crazy amounts. It's still not enough to feed our guys. Have we still not got herbs and things? That's mad. Okay. Just want to make sure our repair shop's definitely got somebody in it. Um... What we need to do now is get somebody sorting out clothing. So um, the extra people that I've got, I'm going to basically put them into um, over here. And we're going to start with um, alpacas. Our ferry's not made, so we missed that boat. Um, yeah, we could probably squeeze a fishing jetty in here as well let's have a look yeah we could pop that in there could actually put two in there yeah we'll check that out a bit so we've kept everything relatively compact hopefully these roads are helping people move about a bit they're zipping about that's for sure so Two citizens are cold. I think what we're going to do as well is if we just go over here, for example. Actually, firstly, we can collect these resources here. If I just do this, they'll hopefully just go out and gather all those trees up and anything else that's underneath. And that should give us a boost to our resources. Anyone that doesn't have anything to do should be doing that. People are cold. I'm hoping that people aren't going to just die. So looking at the technology here for the eco pasture. Um, same function as the pasture, but we can use fodder to accelerate animal maturity and increase output. Um, so we would need planks and rope for that. Um, and I guess it's the same as the fertilizer for the field. But again, rebuilding this would be horrific. Because we would need to basically cull everything. Let's get alpacas on the go in here. Um, did I borrow somebody from somewhere? I think I probably did, but I'm going to add them in there. Cherry, Flora and Chloris. Okay, and it's the wool we want, so uh, let's get that going. Hopefully we're going to get some peas planted as well. It will be a while before we see any, any wool. Um... We do have one alpaca there though, so obviously we're going to need to collect another one before before we get more than one. A lot of activity. Not as much activity as this. March has arrived. Food reserves are low. Yeah, we do know that. It's um, not ideal. God, they're making their way through this. We are getting the wood for this, I would imagine. Oh, and this. 
having that ferry done would be kind of cool. But we're we're in a fairly decent position. We got three more births in the last season, so there's 14 children. Our school is half full, which is good. Um, we've still got some spirits left. That's going to start running out. Oh, we've got iron tools now, so we would want to increase the efficiency of this field. Okay. So hopefully that's going to bump up production of timber. Um, we are f three months in. And we've got yeah, a fair bit, so that's going to put it up by, what, a couple of hundred? A couple of hundred feed. Oh, come on, guys, you need to move faster than that. I know they're slow-breeding animals, but we uh, we have one. I have a tailor's workshop here, waiting to make stuff that we don't have. I do have a spare person. Let's stick them over there. How are we doing for herbs? Herbs aren't too bad. I'll tell you something, there's always something with this game that's, um, yeah, they're trying to throw at you. Uh, we didn't really have a problem with food last time until we started selling it. And, um, and then obviously we developed a problem. Um, I can't believe we haven't managed to get any, um, Herbs or special crop seeds. He said the forester was struck by a meteorite and died. There's no place to bury the dead and their family's happiness level is reduced. Wow, okay. I need that wood, so I'm going to get another Lisa and replace Lisa the forester with Lisa the forester. Can we get one more alpaca? Please. Okay. Deforestation in process. In order to build a ferry. Oh, I like the way these guys are just swimming around in a circle. Okay, keeping an eye on these health levels and average uh, happiness levels. Water's gone back up again. Um, just need more food production. We actually have domestic fuel this time as well, which is kind of useful. So, yeah, we might well build another forest farm as well just to boost the timber production. Um, we're using a lot of stone, obviously, at the moment, so poor Yolanda is working her what's it's off and everyone's using the, uh, the stuff she's making. So I might actually grab all of this as well, just collect everything. Can we hunt these guys? No, it doesn't say. Like, just collect not that stuff, obviously. But certainly everything over here. Just grab all this. Yeah, they're building the roads as and where they can. Turkeys in the town. You know, if you're hungry, just grab them. Hey, we got our one alpaca had a baby. Now we could go into why that wouldn't happen uh, without the aid of another alpaca, but I think I'll leave that to uh, to your teachers <laughs> if you don't understand. Um, hey, we've got another technology point. Let's go into agriculture. I'm going to get the eco-pasture. Um, now, can we 
Can we upgrade? We can't upgrade. So we would have to go in and make another one. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, we don't have a fodder factory or anything at the moment, so probably not a big deal. But later on, would probably be a pain in the butt. Um, okay. And we're making some alpaca wool, so do we actually have any? Think about the clothing situation. This is being made, that's good. Wow, people are going to school. Gonna have a well educated town. I wish they would find some seeds I could use for this. Seems like a bit of a waste so far. Oh well, look, their efficiency was improved. But doesn't look like there's going to be much more turkey than what we were having before. Um, just looking at it. Maybe a little bit. Right, what I'm going to do right now is go into here and start using dung so we can build up a little bit more timber. So we'll turn dung into domestic fuel for now. Which has now completely, just completely disappeared. Two alpacas. Hopefully we were not going to touch most of this yield for fuel production. And, uh, yeah. So we have a ferry, there's a merchant ship on its way. We don't really have anything to sell at the moment. So we're not going to try. Um, we are getting iron tools though. Ten iron tools in there. So the next field would be this one. That one's done. We could do this one. Oh, and we're getting to the point where we're going to run out of um, spirits. So I think the next person might have to start looking after that. Oh god, one of our water our water guys killed himself. Uh Yowza. Okay, we've now run out of stone, so I guess they're, they've been building roads. Um, just uh, keeping my eye here on the uh, on the um, information panel. Is that more immigrants? Okay, so we're going to have a couple of decisions to make, obviously. Um, at the end of next winter, we're going to have immigrants turn it up. Um, any amount of farming would be really handy right now. I think we've built our town based on the fact that we're going to be farming a lot. Um, however, currently we are just about surviving on the food front. Which is obviously no good. That's not where we wanted to be. We wanted to be happy and healthy and making good progress. Again, we're struggling with domestic fuel. Again, we're struggling with clothing. Um, we can make five clothes out of alpaca wool. Amazing. Um, these guys mature really slowly. Um, we're now to three. Hopefully it's going to snowball. Um, what's this one here? The sand pit. We don't have any, any sand. A little bit of clay. Not much sand. Um, do we actually have the materials to make this? We do. Let's brew up some beverages. These guys are already maxed out. 
don't have any more laborers. I mean, we've got, we've got 27 extra people coming. Yeah, look at all this food. Food and herbs and stuff. No, I thought they would gather those as well. Can I get those? Are they a resource? Herd them in. Oh, we've got three now. Okay. Yeah, food's just up and down. And with the hoe, we managed to get maybe an extra 150, so about 10%. No technology points yet. Baskets in there would have been good. Yeah, let's put somebody on that. We need the wool. So I think we're spending most of our stone on actually building the roads here. Oh, is that not... Is that not built? Is that part built? So are these roads still classified as dirt roads? I wonder. We've got these roads here which are kind of half done. And these roads here that are just laid out but not done. And then these roads here which are definitely done. Hmm, okay. Other things there to consider. Okay, I think uh, we've um, come to the end of the episode here. Um, obviously, you've got the llama field going. We've got the ferry, which obviously is not is not manned yet, or ladied, but manned, looked after. Um, we've got our pea field um, on the go, and we've got a few more houses. Um, we potentially got more people moving into the town fairly soon so we're gonna to have to build some more housing and obviously we're gonna to have to increase our food production fuel production clothing production um, so yeah uh, I think I think it's going fairly well I don't want to count my chickens um, we don't have any chickens um, I look forward to seeing you guys around for the next episode and uh, thank you once again for the support and until next time take care of yourselves and stay safe